Ladies and gentlemen, the world has suddenly changed for the better. We can all rest easy now. We can all know that that everything is going to be all right. Everything will be just fine because Friends co-creator Marta Kaufman admits it was a mistake to refer to Chandler Bing's transgender parent with male pronouns after apologizing for the show's lack of black leads. Everything is going to be fine. (laughs) I was so worried there. I mean, this creator of this show that was almost all white characters, white people playing in in the show, has has figured out what she did wrong. It, it's, it's just, oh, it's such a great day. I don't know, I don't know how we survived this long. I don't know how we did it. I don't know. But we, somehow we, we managed to make it through. And here we are. Look at this, look at this. Oh, this is proof there's a God. This is it. I, I'm, I'm going to have to change my, my ways. This is proof. This is it. Proof there's a God. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed. You can find me on Twitter and on Rumble. I'm in desperate need of subscribers everywhere. <laughs> As you can see, my channel is going nowhere fast. <laughs> I have fewer than 1,000 subscribers. I mean, in, in your, you see these YouTube channels that, that people watch with millions of subscribers. I've, I've watched plenty of those channels, right? Obviously, they get millions of subscribers because lots of people watch them. So we're going to get into this article here now. I am a fan of Friends. At least I was until I read this. <laughs> I've watched every episode it dozens of times. I mean, saying I've watched every episode a dozen times is probably like a very conservative estimate in how many times I've seen each episode of Friends. I just have it on in the background a lot. Like I have it on in the background, just, you know, doing, doing its thing. It's just like chilling there, and it's on. There's not much that I like on TV. This is one thing that I can stomach is the show Friends. And it, I didn't watch it at first. When it first came out, I didn't watch it. I didn't. It's like, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I shunned a lot of TV. It's like, oh, yeah, that, that popular stuff on TV, I don't want to watch that. But then after, like, th- the three seasons of it, somebody was, like, convinced me that I should probably check it out. And I, I'd probably seen a couple episodes. So then I started sitting down and watching it every week. And I was like, wow, this is actually a really good show. I followed it all the way through the end of the, the end of the series. And now it's in syndication in my area on three different channels. So it's not hard to find. It, it plays from like 11 to 5 on one station every day and then from like 10 to I think 2 in the morning on another one Uh, and then it's on a couple other actually I think it's on four stations I think it's on but just like one episode or two episodes a day not not a whole lot if you haven't seen it and you want to watch you know an entertaining sitcom it actually is pretty entertaining it's pretty it's pretty good it might not be your cup of tea but it had a broad mainstream appeal so you're probably going to find something in the show that you can appreciate Let's get into this article. Friends co-creator Marta Kaufman has once again expressed her regret over the representation of Chandler Bing's transgender parent on the show. The writer, 65, who created the long-running American sitcom with David Crane, said it was a mistake to use male pronouns and the word father to refer to the transgender woman. I'm sorry, but no, it's not wrong to use the word father to refer to somebody who is actually your father, no matter what their gender, okay? Whether they are trans or male, because those are the only two options. Oh, they could be hermaphrodite. Okay, so they could be either hermaphrodite, trans, or male, and still be your father. It's still okay to call them your father, because father is a title. It has absolutely nothing to do with what you got going on between your legs, except that, the you know, it has to be an Audi. It has to be an Audi down there when you're impregnating the woman. That's, that's how it works. You see this here. Thor was changed into a woman. Thor is a title, so Thor can be a woman. Although Thor is also, you know, the name of that god. So guess what? Thor can't be a woman. But no, it's okay when they do it. But when um, it's done in a way they don't want it, then hey, it's wrong. These people are so insane. Chandler's parent, also known by her stage name, Helena Handbasket, was played by Kathleen Turner, who has since admitted she would not take on the role today. Now, I don't know why Kathleen Turner is admitting that. Maybe it's because it would be career suicide if she were to do that. If that's the case, I mean, that's understandable. Addressing the controversy around Chandler's transparent being referred to by male name throughout the show, Marta admitted it was a mistake. What male name? Her name was Helena Handbasket. Is that a male name? I take that back. There was one exception. Hi, Mr. Bing. (laughs) Nora. Charles. In an interview with The Conversation to air on BBC World Series on July 11th, 
She said, we kept referring to her, Chandler's transgender parent, as Chandler's father. Yeah, they're referring to, they're, they're saying that the name and the word father are the same thing. No, father is a title. Even though Chandler's father was trans. Okay, what are you supposed to call Chandler's father then? Chandler's mother? Well, no, Chandler's mother is this other woman here, Morgan Fairchild, in the shot. Pronouns were not yet something that I understood, so we didn't refer to that character as she. That was a mistake. Okay, so pronouns have been understood for, in this language, in English, for hundreds of years, like 500 years, we've understood how pronouns work and the way they work today. Same way. So you understand how they work. Okay. Th this whole new pronoun thing that's happened in the last 10 years, that's not a thing. That's a made up bunch of bullshit that doesn't matter. All right. So uh, you didn't need to worry about using her pronouns correctly. And there's only one time when there was like a play on pronouns in the whole show that I can remember. Let me demonstrate for you. Someone taken her order yet? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, she did. Um, he did. She? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm new. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't know how to refer to a, a person who was in drag. I would call them he if it was a man dressed up as a woman. That's what I would do, and I knew it. If I didn't know it, I would call that person she. Likewise, if it was a woman dressed up as a man and I knew it, I would call that person she. And if I didn't know it, I would call that person he. Not very difficult to use pronouns. I don't know why people are struggling with this. It's really, really easy. It wasn't until years after the show aired that show creators confess that Chandler's parent being transgender and going through a transition from a man to a woman. What? It wasn't until years after the show aired that show creators confess to Chandler's parent being transgender and going through a transition from a man to a woman. What are you talking about? This is part of the show. I don't understand what, what, what they're getting to, to here. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Jokes surrounding the character focused on her choice to wear dresses and other characters having difficulty using correct pronouns. Yeah, yeah, one time. Well, actually, there was another one. I'm sorry, there's two. Here you go. Here's the second one. Rach, Rach, yeah, hey, um, hey, could you do me a favor and would you talk to Chandler's dad and try to keep him away from Chandler's mom? Yeah, but I don't know what he looks like. He is the man in the black dress. Man in the <laughs> Marta said she now tries to create an inclusive and diverse workplace, saying she wants her colleagues to feel safe. I want my colleagues to feel safe, too, so we should, you know, get rid of all the woke, period. Anybody seen acting woke at all, period, hands down, 100%, fired immediately. If, the, if my staff is not diverse, too freaking bad. It's safer that way. I fired a guy on the spot for making a joke about a trans camera person. That just can't happen, she added. Yes, it can happen, and it should happen. You should have promoted the guy. You should have given him a, a, a raise and a promotion. Kathleen Turner has previously addressed the criticism around playing Chandler's parents, saying she wouldn't agree to the role if she was asked today. We already read that part. Why is it? Why do they, these articles always repeat? Speaking on UK TV show Sunday Brunch in 2018, Kathleen said of deciding to take on the job at the time, I thought, okay, I am playing a man playing a woman. I haven't done that yet. So I said yes. She added, of course, I wouldn't do it now because there would be real people able to do it. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't do something. If you, if you want to make a... Um, documentary on not a, a docudrama let's say make a docudrama on the life and times of barack obama well barack obama's alive today should you have him in the movie uh, playing the character of himself that doesn't happen when you see these these sorts of films typically the person that the film is about if it's a real life person it's they don't act in the film they have something better looking and with better diction playing the part it comes days after marta once again apologized for her lack of black leads on the legendary New York-based sitcom. Yeah, okay. This, by the way, is Kathleen Turner today. If you don't know who Kathleen Turner is, until Friends came along, this is how I thought of her. This is from a movie she did in the 1980s called The Romancing the Stone. It's kind of like a kind of like an Indiana Jones knockoff. There were two of them. And she was considered a heartthrob. Not anymore. Time has not been kind to her. In response to the lack of diversity on the show, Marta has pledged $4 million to her alma mater, the Boston area's Brandeis University, to create an endowed professorship in the university's African and African American Studies Department. Well, I guess I can't watch Friends anymore. You can't support this psychopath. This is ridiculous. Marta said she felt embarrassed that Friends featured a predominantly white cast. Who freaking cares? I've learned a lot in the last 20 years, Kaufman told the LA Times, admitting and accepting guilt is not easy. It's painful. 
looking at yourself in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's hard looking at yourself in the mirror. I'm embarrassed that I didn't know better 25 years ago. <laughs> you didn't have to change anything about Friends. On the Friends uh, special that came out like a year ago, uh, Friends Reunion, she admitted that the show was about six people that she knew. Her and David Crane were two of those people. It was about those two and their... It wasn't about them. It was it was inspired by David Crane and Marta Kaufman and their four friends that they were friends with in New York City and how they were trying to make it when they were young. That's what the show was inspired by. And if all your friends are white, or at least those main friends that you had there that the show is about were, were white, then the show should be about those white people. It shouldn't change their race. And... It doesn't matter that you have a show that is 100% white. Marta should, from now on, from this point forward, only produce shows that have exclusively white people playing parts in them. Period. Hands down. No other races at all. Ever. I used to watch the Cosby show when I was a kid. There was very rarely anybody other than black people in the show. I mean, virtually everybody ever shown on the show was black. There was a spinoff of the Cosby show. Same thing. I used to watch that. Oh, it had, it had uh, Lisa Bonet in it, and she's half black. I mean, her character was a black character. We don't go around saying that 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 uh, Barack Obama was actually half black. I mean, how he, we all know that he is, but we always say, oh, he's the first black president. So apparently, if you're mixed, you can just choose whatever race you want. While Friends is arguably one of the most successful sitcoms of all time, running for 10 seasons between 1994 and 2004, the show's lack of diversity was always something it was criticized for. Not by me. In the very first episode of Friends... There was a black person with multiple lines. Very first episode. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my God, the main, none of the main characters were, were a people of color. You notice how they had to do that. You look at uh, that 70s show, and they had that Fez on there. You look at Big Bang Theory, and they had um, Cruiser Pali on there. All these shows now have to have a, a person of color in one of the main lead roles. It's like, no. It's ridiculous. You can make a show that is all one race. Nobody cares. If, if you do it with any other race... Except white. It's fine. As soon as you do it with white people, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing ever. How dare you? How dare you have no diversity in your show? You're, wor- you're worse than Hitler. Urgh. It took the show until 2022 to cast Aisha Taylor, the first black actress to become a series regular on the show playing Dr. Charlie Wheeler, a paleontologist professor who ended up dating Ross Geller in season nine, but she only lasted at nine episodes. That's far, far too many. Kaufman said she regrets making the six main characters all white, but is still happy to that Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Matt LeBlanc, and Matthew Perry were all part of the series. It wouldn't have worked with other people playing the parts. It wouldn't have. I would have been insane not to hire those six actors. There were three actors and three actresses, by the way. What can I say? I wish Lisa was black. That, that is not racist at all. <laughs> to say that about one specific character on the show. That is horrible. <laughs> You you wish Lisa Kudrow was black. The most white person on the show. She was the character with blonde hair. You wish she was black. Wow. <laughs> that is so racist. She told The Hollywood Reporter prior to the airing of the Friends reunion special, but now Marta is pledging $4 million to Brandeis University to promote the study of African-American studies. Yeah, just what we need. The Marta Kaufman 78 professorship in African and African American studies will support a distinguished scholar with a concentration in the study of the peoples and cultures of Africa and African diaspora. The donation will also help the department to recruit more expert scholars and teachers, map long-term academic and research priorities, and provide new opportunities for students to engage in interdisciplinary scholarship, the university said. It took me it took me a long time to begin to understand how I internalize systemic racism. <laughs> Kaufman told Brandeis, I've been working really hard to become an ally, an anti-racist. <laughs> and this seemed to be, to be a way that I could participate in the conversation from a white woman's perspective. <laughs> yeah, I thought we didn't need white people's perspectives on, uh, on race. Since the announcement of the donation, Marta told the Los Angeles Times, I've gotten nothing but love. It's been amazing. 
It surprised me to some extent because I didn't expect the news to go this wide. I've gotten a flood of emails and texts and posts that have been nothing but supportive. I've gotten a lot of, it's about time. Not in a mean way. It's just people acknowledging it was long overdue. No, it, it was not overdue. You, you did fine. Friends, friends could have been better by having fewer people of color on it. There, I said it. Are you happy now? That's the way it should have been. Even though New York City is like the most diverse city in the world, I think. Something like that. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's in the top 10 for most diverse places in the world. At the time of the release of Friends, the reunion, which was criticized for sidestepping the issue of the lack of diverse roles, her perspective on diversity started to shift. It was after what happened to George Floyd that I began to wrestle with my having bought into systemic racism in ways I was never aware of. Marta told the LA Times, nobody mentions Tony Timpa. Of course, nobody knows about Tony Timpa. That's the thing. Tony Timpa died exactly the same way, exactly the same way that George Floyd died. I mean, it is eerily similar. It is so freaking crazy similar. And there were charges brought against a police officer, misdemeanor, misdemeanor charges brought against three police officers, and they were all dropped. Nobody talks about it. Nobody cares about it. Nobody thinks about it because, hey, Tony Timpa was a white man. That was really the moment that I began to examine the ways I had participated. I knew that I needed to course correct. It comes after David, who played Ross on the hit show, told The Guardian in an interview in 2019 that he was always pushing for diversity on Friends. I was well aware of the lack of diversity, and I campaigned for years to have Ross date women of color, he said. One of the first girlfriends I had on the show was Asian American women, and later I dated African American women. That was a very conscious push on my part. I believe it was, it was his, actually his first girlfriend on the show was Asian American woman. Uh, her name was Julie, and uh, I don't remember the, the name of the, the woman who played her. That's not important, though. He did end up dating Charlie Wheeler and another girl that was, that was black, only, but only in one episode. I took the show until 2002 to cast Aisha Taylor, the first black actress to become a series regular on the show, playing Dr. Charlie Wheeler, a paleontologist professor who ended up dating Ross in season nine. The realization about the show's lack of black characters has sometimes been hard. Kaufman got emotional in 2020 while admitting that she didn't do enough to promote diversity on her hit NBC sitcom. She, you don't have to do anything to promote diversity. Diversity just happens in a country like the United States that lets everybody live here. It's, it's no secret how diversity happens. Water was asked during the virtual 2020 ATX TV festival about what she wished she knew when she started her career in television. The writer-producer teared up and got emotional saying, I wish I knew then what I know today. <laughs> what makes this truly emotional for me is that I want this connection I didn't have, she said. I deeply, deeply want this connection with the black community that I didn't have because of friends. I never attained that. <laughs> you know what you can do? You can just like, go live in Africa. Solve that problem. You could date exclusively black men. That's what you can do. This is so crazy. These people are in literally people have lost their minds. If somebody came to me and said, yeah, that show wasn't diverse enough, F off. Screw you. I don't care. It was a good show. It won awards. It changed our culture. It was a phenomenal hit at the time and it's still a hit today. So whatever you think about it not being diverse enough, you maybe need to look in the mirror at yourself. I don't need to do anything differently. I did everything right. Sorry, I just wish I knew then what I know now. I would have made very different decisions, Kaufman added, referring to the show's lack of diversity, which it was often criticized for. I mean, we've always encouraged people of diversity in our company, but I didn't know enough. I know all I can think about is what can I do, she added. What can I do, so what can I do differently? How can I run my show in a new way? And that's something I not only wish I knew when I started show running, but I wish I knew all the way up through last year, Goffin said. Brandeis African and African American Studies Department was established in 1969 and is one of the oldest such departments in the country. Chad Williams, the, univers the university Samuel J. and Augusta Specter, professor of history and African and African American Studies, said the new professorship will place Brandeis in a leadership role in the broader academic community and public sphere. No, it's actually going to ruin the world. We're at a time in this country's history where students are looking for opportunities to expand their intellectual and political horizons mm -hmm. and looking for places where they can articulate what it means to be a young person in a time of incredible change 
and upheaval, particularly as it relates to race, he said. Yes. What does it mean to be a young person? Does it mean that you're between, I don't know, the ages of zero and 25? I would think that was like the definition of a young person. What? <laughs> There's like no mystery here. What does it mean to be a young person today? They have to use this stupid ass language all the time to try and confuse the rest of us into buying their bullshit. It's not working. Brandeis needs to embrace that and recognize there's an opportunity to lead with our department at the forefront. Kaufman also confirmed that any future projects would include a, a more diverse cast. I feel I was finally able to make some differences in the conversation, Kaufman told the LA Times. I have to say, after agreeing to this and when I stopped sweating, it didn't unburden me, but it lifted me up. But until in... My next production, I can't do it right. It isn't over. Okay, unburdening you and lifting you up are the same damn thing. What the hell is wrong with you? I wanted to make sure from now on, in every production I do, that I am conscious in hiring people of color and actively pursuing young writers of color. I want to know I will act differently from now on. And then I will feel unburdened. <laughs> yes, hiring, hiring diverse actors or writers of color young young writers of color because they have to be young and experienced and not know what the hell they're talking about and they have to be of color because that's more important than being white right we all know what that's that's just evil being white anyway that's the end of the article there you can see the cast of friends joey chandler well most of them we're missing we're missing ross but that's monica rachel and phoebe yeah it's it's just why is this a thing why are we worried about a show that has now been over for for almost 20 years? Almost 20 years it has been since this show had a new episode. And yet somehow this is an important thing that we need to focus on. The $4 million of your own money has to be given to a university to absolve you of your sins. Are you kidding me? Really? Just because you made a TV show that didn't have a, a lead character who was not white. I, I can't even. I mean... Alien overlords, come take us away, because this, this is just the end. You, my, you just welcome our alien overlords. Just enslave us all. It, that's going to be what it's going to have to come down to, because this country is, is going to... I can't even... Anyway, that's all I got for this time. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.